John Isaac, power forward for the Land of Magic, has made the headlines once again. This time it was because of some comments he made for being hesitant to get vaccinated. Now for those of you who have been following this channel for a while, you know that I met John shortly after I found out that he's been a longtime subscriber of this channel, and after that I invited him on the channel and we've been good friends ever since. So when I saw that he was trending on Google yesterday, I texted him and I was like, bruh, why are you always trending for starting some controversy? Of course I was kidding. John is a good dude with good intentions and he's not the type that just starts up stuff just to be controversial. That's just not him. But let's go ahead and listen to what he said that caused so much controversy. Jonathan, Josh Robbins with The Athletic. Uh, what is it about the vaccine that, that makes you uh, hesitant to, to, to get it? Uh, I, I would start with, um, I've, I've had COVID. Um, in the past. And so our, our understanding of antibodies, of natural immunity has uh, uh, changed a, a great deal from the onset of the pandemic and is still evolving. Um, I understand that the vaccine would uh, um, help if, if, if you catch COVID and uh, you'll be able to have less symptoms um, from contracting it. But with me having COVID in the past and having antibodies um, with my current um, age group and uh, uh, fitness, physical fitness level, um, it's not necessarily a fear of mine. Uh, taking the vaccine, um, like I said, it would decrease my chances of uh, uh, having a severe reaction, but it does open me up to the, albeit rare chance, but the possibility of having an adverse reaction to the vaccine itself. Um, I don't believe that being unvaccinated means infected or being vaccinated means um, uninfected. You can still catch COVID um, with or with not having the vaccine. Um, I would say, honestly, the, the, the craziness of it all in terms of not being able to say that it should be everybody's fair choice without being demeaned or um, talked crazy to doesn't uh, make one comfortable to do what said person is uh, telling them to do. Um, yeah, I, I would say that's, that's a couple of the reasons that, um, you know, I would say I, I'm hesitant at this time, but at the end of the day, uh, I don't feel that it is, um, you know, anyone's reason to come out and say, well, this is why or this is not why. It should just be their decision. And, um, you know, loving your neighbors, not just loving those that, that agree with you or look like you or uh, move in the same way that you do. It's, it's uh, uh, you know, loving those who don't. So as you can imagine, people weren't very happy with his statement. But as you just heard, he ended by saying that loving your neighbor doesn't mean that you love those who don't agree with you or move the way that you move, but instead it means loving those who don't. So no matter what you think about everything else that he said, I think that that was the most important thing that he said because a lot of us are so quick to cancel one another for having different conclusions or having different opinions on this topic than we do. Jesus said that the world will know that we're his disciples by the love that we have for one another. Out of all of the other things that Jesus could have said, he said that it would be the love that we have for one another. So out of anybody else, as followers of Christ, we should be able to have conversations about these sort of issues where our love for one another isn't compromised. My prayer is that we would strive for constructive conversations where we seek to understand the opposing points of view in a way that they would agree with before we seek to be understood ourselves. But no matter where you land on this topic, above all, let's keep Jesus's command in mind as we navigate this world and as we navigate the controversial issues that come with it. So I think that's all I really wanted to say about this topic, but I think I'm forgetting something. Yeah, John, help me out. What do you mean?